welcome back to Bookish Blonde. Today we are going to talk a little bit about some of my 2024 reading challenges that I have set up and planned for this year. I'll go ahead and flip my camera around here in a minute and you'll get a top view of my journal. Um, there is one challenge I have, I am just calling it Priority Reads of 2024, and that will have a separate video because I have 12 very specific books picked out already for those. Um, and I kind of want to go into detail a little bit about why those are on there and what the book's about. So keep your eye out for that video. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Hey guys. All right, here we go. So this is my 2024 reading journal. It is an Archer and Olive journal. The size is B5. Um, I will go ahead and try to link in the video below as many supplies as I can. But Archer and Olive is by far my favorite journal I've ever used. It's They have so many options for covers. This is like a um, fake leather. They also have some um, like linen covers, so lots of accessories and fun things. So um, this has a gold foil um, coffee cup, as you can see. They all come with a strap to keep it nice and secure. There's a pen loop on the side here. Um, and then also it has two... Um, Two bookmarks that I've already built in. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this came with the journal, this gold foil. I did not do that. That came with the journal, and this is just my name. <laughs> Little sticker. Okay, this is the title page, 2024 Reading Journal. I found this image or something close to it on uh, Pinterest and went ahead and just copied it. I like that it's simple, black and white. We have the gold lettering. Um, yeah, so I just drew it out in pencil and then went over it with my black pens I like and some Tombows and that, that's what we get. All right, this is my star rating and goal page. Every year I try to come up with some fun goals, or obviously goals, fun star rating. So this year I decided to, so this year I decided to come up with some fun star ratings and I decided to use Taylor Swift song titles. I saw it somewhere and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so fun. I'm going to do that. So one star, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Two stars, You're Losing Me. Three stars, Mr. Perfectly Fine. Four stars is Enchanted. And five stars is Mastermind. And here are my goals. I had a goals video that went up, so check that out um, if you haven't seen that already. But again, 100 books on Goodreads. Kindle, read one book at least a month on my Kindle. Work on some of my series and read my book of the month, month books. This is just a stamp that I repeated over and over again. Goal stickers. Pretty simple. This is my anticipated reads page. I like to break it down by season. I will continue to add some of some titles throughout the year. Um, I put the check boxes. I color them in. If I buy them or they're gifted to me and they end up on my shelves, and then I will check it off and put a star rating if I do read them this year. This is where I will, every book I read, I print off, I have a Canon IV and I print off a book cover and I will go ahead and paste them there. So I filled it out so I have a space for 100 books since that's my goal. Uh, this has been shown before, but this is my Kindle page. One book a month I'm hoping to get to. I'll put the date I read it. Was it Nick Ellie, yes or no? And then also my star rating. Um, I also am a firm believer in visiting your library I realize that I check out more books than I actually read from my library, but it does does help our your local library out, so check it out. So yeah, I just made this little pocket and put that there. This was also an Archer and Olive um, subscription box, I believe. It came with a pad of these with a couple different colors. And this is just different white stamps that I used. Okay, I will try to link below where I saw this image. Again, it was Pinterest. This was not my original creation. I just copied it. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to fit a ladder right here, but I haven't done that yet. But what I'll do is I'll color in the spines of the books as I read them. And I have it set up for 100 books right now, so hopefully that will look really great by the end of the year. I'll color it in. This is where I'm gonna print off book covers and make a little collage of all my five stars of the year. And then this year I decided instead of Battle of the Books where you pick your best book of the month, um, I decided to just put my top 12 because I found last year, you know, say I picked a favorite book out of January, but there was two favorites. Um, and then a favorite in March, had it gone against January, 
the second book in January was still my favorite over the best book in February. I hope that made sense. So I thought this way I'm just gonna put my top 12 and I'll share that of course with you guys at the end of the year. This is my page where I add anything that comes in to my sh uh, in my house on my shelves. I like to put where I got them from and if I read them or not, I'll check them off. I will not let myself go past this, <laughs> so we shall see. Um, and then this is if when I unhaul. Pretty simple. All right, here's my challenges pages that I'm excited to show you guys. So I made a little just a Dutch door. Again, I just colored that in with markers um, and some white marker uh, paint pens. And these are the challenges I'm going to be using this year. This one is blanked out because this one is a surprise, so I will not be showing you that today. But as I complete them, I'll go ahead and check them off. Okay, so my first one, my first challenge is on the cover. This comes from Little Inklings Design. I will link her below. She is a great um, company. She creates actually reading journals and other planners, and they are awesome. But I love to make my own because it's just something I look forward to. Um, but check her out if you don't want to do this yourself. She has a, such a great product. You will really enjoy her. Um, so again, that's Little Inklings Design. So are just different things that you're going to find on the cover. Flowers, earrings or a ring, birds, mountains, as you can see. And we just put the little picture there of the cover as I read them. This next one. So on Facebook, there is a book club called Weeby Bookin' that I'm a part of. And they have so many awesome different uh, challenges, um, games, sometimes individuals, sometimes their group challenges. And every month they have something new you can pick from. Um, they also have a few year-long challenges, so this is one of those. Um, each month, so January 15th, we'll know February's prompts and so forth. They'll come up with three prompts from a huge prompt list, and then you just try to find a book that fits those prompts. We got book title has the name of a flower in it. Author is Jewish and takes place in Europe. So we'll see if I fit some of my reading to fit those this month. The next one is the buzzword readathon. This is Books and Lala. This is, I believe, the fourth year she's doing it. Um, I could be wrong on that, but this one is so fun. I complete this every year. Um, so each month, again, there's prompts. I have my stars here to color in my star ratings. Um, there, there, and there. Uh, it was January's prompt, and actually I had a, quite a hard time figuring that out on my shelves. I had like nothing, but I did finish, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. So that was really cool. So, um, and last year I was able to complete this, and I did read in the correct month. So we have positive, happy words, character names, related to the planet, every, same word twice, related to measurement, the word like, any kind of your senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, or hearing, relationships only in holiday season word so there's that the next one I found it was a 2023 reading challenge but I figured it went well with my star ratings and so each of these is a, a title is the prompt of the book so for example the one so a book you think will be a new favorite uh, Tim McGraw a debut novel uh, paper rings, a book with a ring on the cover, and so as I go I will write in what I read to match that prompt. And I had some of these fun stickers so I made a little tailor collage. The next one I will not be showing you, that's the surprise spread. Um, priority reads, I got this idea from Krista over at Books and Jams, she does something similar so I will tag her below as well. I am going to do a separate video and kind of go over um, these books and each month I will pick one for my TBR. This is my book of the month spread. These are what I already own, and I'll write in what I choose each month, and I'll color them accordingly as I read them, according to their star rating, and this is looks really pretty at the end of the year as well. I'll color it in. And then you kind of saw this on one of my videos. This is my six series that I'm gonna concentrate on. Um, I'm gonna color them as I read them. The black dot means I've already read them previous years. And that's that. Um, next we get into my monthly tracking. This is January's. I just put a little calendar here and this is just books with a teapot. 
then it's not done yet, but here is where I will track the books I read um, and put a couple sentences about how I feel about them. Um, and then this will be my reading wrap up. This should look similar or the same every month. Um, we go ahead and I'm gonna list the titles here I read. These stand for if they were print, um, audio, Kindle, or a combination of both. And I do my books, number of pages, the average rating, the format, the best book of the month, or books, <laughs> and also um, the genres I read. And then this box, I'm not sure yet. Either I'll do a little drawing or doodle, or I'll put something important I need to remember. I hit the camera, sorry about that. Or I will possibly, maybe what I wanna read, get some ideas for the following month. And then if you go back to the end, at the end of everything, I have an overall reading wrap up. So this is, I'm gonna put my favorites here, all my reading stamps, reading stats totaled up from each month. Uh, my top 10 books are here, anticipated of 2025, book of the year, and some memorable moments. My next page has a, let me turn this for you guys, monthly reading stats. Um, each month is here, number of books, pages, physical, ebook, audio, combo, DNF, one, two, three, four, five rating, average rating is, gonna go there. And just another fun way to track my reading. I'm kind of a nerd. I like stats. I like my type name. This makes me very happy. Um, and then here I have these in pencil. These are the different genres. Um, those are most likely what I'll be reading, but I haven't finalized those yet until I get going on my reading. Um, and then here I'm gonna do just some pie charts, star ratings, book format, genres read, here, eventually I'll probably do some kind of bar graph, I'm not sure yet. And then this is just fun to look at. Um, I go ahead and I, when I start a new book, I put the dot, and when I finish a book, I put an X, and then physical, audio, and Kindle. As you can see, most days have audio in it, because <laughs> I like to listen to books on the way to work. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you got some fun ideas. If you want to start a reading journal of your own, I love doing it. You can binge watch Netflix while you set it up and write in it, listen to an audiobook, and it's a lot of fun. And at the end of the year, you have a really great visual of everything you read that year. All right, guys. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.